I love you so deeply that I love you as I never dreamed I should love. How few people in this wide world are so rich as to have a love such a lover. A letter from 1901 from Mary Willie to Jeanette Marks. Okay, so this is the Mary Lily file. This is the college president section in general. Um, Mary starts all the way up here. Her biographical information goes to here. And then this entire section is just Wooly Marks correspondence. My name is Caroline Palmer, and I am a senior gender studies and sociology double major, working in the archives as a research assistant this summer. My research project this summer, I have been focusing primarily on digitizing and transcribing letters written between Mary Woolley and Jeanette Marks from 1895 to the 1940s, because we're planning a crowdsourced transcription project and a digital exhibition of the letters in the early 2015. Mary Woolley was president of Mount Holyoke College from 1901 to 1937, and Jeanette Marks was her lifelong partner. They were together for more than 50 years after a meeting at Wellesley where Woolley was a professor and Marks was a student. Their saga and love story here has been a story that students tell to each other for many years. There might not be a perfect word to describe what they were to each other. Using modern terminology like lesbian or queer for that would be something I would hesitate about because it just doesn't quite fit what kind of special magical relationship they had. It's helped me learn a lot about LGBT history and that it's more complicated than you think it's going to be because these people aren't just their sexualities, they are combinations of everything going on in their lives at the time and everything going on in society when they were alive. That shapes not only who they are but how they're perceived by people then and now. 45 boxes of letters between these two from 19 or 1895 to 1947, I think. 